Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to wherever you are in the world. My name is Andrew Glazer, and today I would like to teach you how to balance the equation. Barium chloride plus aluminum sulfate produces barium sulfate plus aluminum chloride. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in these little hash marks here, or dashes. That will represent the location of the subscripts I'm eventually going to place in. Okay. Now remember the principle of balancing that. However many elements of each atom you have on the left-hand side of the yield sign, has to balance however many atoms you have of each particular element on the right-hand side. Now, other than that, the process is going to be very flexible, okay? So what I'm going to do is start with the first element I see. I see barium. I want to make sure barium only exists in one compound on the left and one compound on the right, which it does, and I love to balance that. Now, that's where the subscripts come into play because there's one barium on the left. There's also one barium on the right. So it kind of looks like a weird face, right? It looks like a nose, and then if you had some eyes here, right? Anyway, um, wow. Getting very distracted. Barium is balanced. Barium is balanced. Let's move on to the next one. So now you have chlorine. I have chlorine, right? So you have two chlorines on the left, and ooh, you have three chlorines on the right. Okay. Now what you can do, another technique you can use, you can set up a math equation if you want. If you want two, it somehow has to equal three. I usually always like to place the coefficient on the lower side. And whatever coefficient you want to place, then you're just going to multiply it by that subscript, okay? And then you can solve this math equation. So the x would be equal to 3 halves. So you can use a fraction here if you want. That That's fine, totally fine. There's another way you can work it, okay? And that other way is this, that whatever the coefficient, is, excuse me, whatever the subscript is of that particular element on the one side becomes the coefficient for that uh, element, okay, on the other side. So in other words, I'm going to put a three here. And then this is the subscript on the left that becomes the coefficient there on the right. Okay, that becomes a two. Now what happens is what's three times two, six, what's two times three, six, right? So that's what's happening. You now have three barium chlorides. So pretend you had this three times. So I can write it again, BaCl2, BaCl2, right? And you got two here, two here, two here for a total of six. And same thing on this side, though, you have only two aluminum chlorides. But in here you have three, and here you have three, so therefore six, okay? So that's how that balances out. Now the thing is, though, it screwed up your barium, right? It screwed up your barium, but that's not a huge deal because I knew barium existed in this one compound on the left, this one compound on the right. It was a one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, so therefore, whatever the coefficient is of the barium chloride has to also be that same coefficient for the barium sulfate, okay? So now I'm going to place in a three here. All right. Now let's go to, so the barium is balanced, the chlorine is balanced, let's go now to the aluminum. So the aluminum here, the subscript there is going to be a 2, that means I have 2 aluminum on the left. Now when you look at the aluminum on the right hand side, yes, aluminum has a subscript of 1. But you have to take into account now the coefficient you just placed. In other words, you technically now have 2 aluminums in total because you have 2 aluminum chlorides. And in each aluminum chloride you had 1 aluminum. All right, so the aluminum is actually balanced. Now when I move on to the next thing, this is a polyatomic ion, it's sulfate. How do I know that? Literally by just pattern recognition and memory. Okay, you should probably be familiar with several polyatomic ions, it'll help, it'll help you out. Um, I, when I do balancing, I look to not break this up. I don't like to look at sulfur and balance the sulfur, then look at oxygen, balance the sulfur, and balance the oxygen, uh, if I can avoid that. In other words, I'm gonna look to see, I know I have sulfate on the left, and ooh, I have sulfate on the right. Okay, so now I want to ask myself, how many sulfates do I have on the left? Well, that's what this subscript tells me. I have three sulfates. Okay, how many sulfates do I now have on the right-hand side? Well, technically, since there's no subscript out there, you have one sulfate, but you have three barium sulfates. So if there's one sulfate in every single barium sulfate, and you had three barium sulfates, well, then you had three sulfates. So guess what? Done. Balanced. Guys, thank you so much for, uh, for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you can like, subscribe, maybe you can tell some of your classmates or friends. We'd love to help you out with more. All right? And check check us out, by the way, because we not only have chemistry, but we got physics. we got mathematics as well. We have a lot more coming. we got thousands of videos out there for you. Okay, thousands. We solve specific problems. Because that's what you're going to see on your test at the end of the day, right? You're going to have specific questions on your exam. So we try to go through specific problems to help you get an A. Hopefully these help. We'll see you soon.